Hey everybody, Fred here, plcgurus.net. So in this video series, what I want to do is I want to teach you how easy it is to get up and running with Rockwell Automation's Factory Talk View Studio. So the purpose of this software is to develop your own HMI applications that can act as a front end or GUI interface to your automation equipment or PLC program. So this video series assumes you have no previous working knowledge with Factory Talk View Studio. So I'm going to take you right from scratch, right through developing your own HMI applications. So to get started with this, what I want to do is I want to show you where you can go download the software, get it installed on your machine, and get it activated. So that's what we're doing in this video. Let's get started. Okay, so you can see here I've boot up into my shiny new uh, Windows 10 virtual machine here. And so what I want to do is I'm going to head over to my web browser now. And I want you to head over to rockwellautomation.com. And once you get to the Rockwell Automation website, what I usually like to do to go and download different software is... No, we don't want to opt into that is I head on over to the support and the compatibility and download section. So once I'm in here, usually what I like to do is do the software downloads by serial number. And again, of course, the Factory Talk View Studio software is not free software, so you do have to purchase it. There is a license. Of course, to get the software, you know, talk to your local Rockwell Automation rep, and uh, I'm sure they'll be able to hook you up nice and easy. But anyways, oftentimes the CDs that you get when you purchase the software are dated rather quickly. So if that's the case, you know, oftentimes they'll release uh, web releases, uh, newer software patches that are more compatible with the updates to the operating systems and whatnot. So I always recommend that you do go ahead and try to standardize and download the latest software for the operating system or environment that you're working in. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to the software downloads by serial number. And this is gonna ask you to log in. I'll just log in here. And you'll put in your password. And once you get in here, it should take you right to the software uh, entitlement type uh, check. So this is where you're going to need the serial number product key that would have been located in the red envelope that was included in the software DVD that was sent to you when you purchased the software. And I'll put an image up on the screen here of what that should look like. So it does say very important not to uh, discard that red envelope. So don't do that. It is important. You know, we'll need it in the future. So please do hold on to it. So you're gonna go ahead and enter in your serial number and product key information here and click the next street and it's gonna take you to the download page. So assuming you get to that point, go ahead and download the, the latest version. I believe I'm running version 10 here. At the time of shooting this video, it was the latest revision. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that and get that installed on my machine. So once you enter your software credentials, you're gonna be presented with this screen here that's gonna show you the software packages that you're licensed to download and install. So what you wanna do here is you wanna select the uh, software, okay? Again, I am running version 10.00.01, and then you can click the little download icon. That's gonna take you right to the validation page. You're gonna go ahead and, you know, click accept, that you accept the terms, et cetera, et cetera and a way you're gonna to go to be able to download the software. So if you get to this point, you're, you're doing pretty good. Uh, go ahead, click this accept. I've already downloaded this, so I'm not gonna go any further from here, but go ahead, click the accept button and get that software downloaded. Okay, so once you've downloaded and extracted the files that are in the download package, those, those self-extracting zip files or RAR files, we should be able to head on over to the uh, downloads folder and factory talk view DVD and what we want to do is launch the setup icon here so we're gonna click yes and this is gonna walk us through the setup process so I think we can close this right now so one thing Rockwell has done quite well in recent releases is made the installation of their software packages much simpler 
And so all we have to do here is select the product we want to install. So again, for this video series and this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the studio for machine edition. We're not going to worry about the site edition and all these other things right now. So you want to make sure you select the first option in the list here. And what that's going to do, it's going to go ahead and install the prerequisites. It's going to go ahead and install Factory Talk Link Server. It's going to go ahead and install uh, the machine edition software. And I'm going to talk about all of these things in subsequent videos. So let's just go ahead for now and choose the first option. And we're going to click install now. So we'll accept the end user license agreement. And again, this is going to take some time. So I think I'm going to pause the video here and come back when we get to something uh, a little more interesting. So go ahead, walk through the installation and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so it looks like the software install is finally complete. It did take a little while. I suspect it took a little longer because I'm running in a virtual machine. So what you'll want to do now is we see you have two choices. We can activate the software or if you've already installed the activation server, activation manager, um, and you have your licenses already, uh, you should be good to go. And actually, I did do a, a series or I got started into a series that got into the activations and how to activate your Rockwell products in a little more detail that I'm going to go into here. So maybe I'll link over to that in the uh, in the comments or in the video here. Uh, so if you want a little more information on activations and how to go about that, uh, you can check those videos out. But anyways, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and skip the activation for now. And I'm going to click next. And I'm going to go ahead and go do the restart and we should be good to go. Okay, so I've reboot my computer now. If we go to the Windows little start orb thing here, uh, you'll see all apps. You'll see uh, that it's went ahead and installed quite a few uh, different software packages for us, some of which we're going to talk about, some of which uh, we're not going to talk about. However, the most important thing in here is this Factory Talk View Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag that icon out here so we have uh, nice quick access to that. And if I double click that, that's going to launch us into Factory Talk View Studio. And we're going to be confronted with the new Open Machine Edition application. But I think we've gotten to the point I wanted to get to in this video. So in the next video, we're going to go ahead and maybe do a little, create a little Hello World application. Do a little touring of the interface so we get comfortable on what we're looking at and how to work with the different parts of Factory Talk View Studio. And we're just going to go ahead in subsequent videos and expand on that knowledge. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Remember to subscribe to the channel, ring that bell to get notified of new videos that are coming your way. And don't forget to head on over to our companion website at https colon backslash backslash plcgurus.net and become a member of what's quickly becoming the largest and fastest growing community of automation professionals. So head on over there, become a member. It's completely free and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.